This is the Pete and Sebastian Show with Pete Corielli and Sebastian Maniscalco. Pete and Sebastian Show, we're back, baby. What's up? Looking coy, guy. Looking back. groomed. I'm losing my, losing my hair, bro. Why? Again. I, I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm sorry. The way you fucking <laughs> present it makes me laugh. Not what's happening. What do you mean, bro? It's looking... I'm losing my hair right here again. I don't know what's going on, man. Is it, is it, is it the, it's not the same spot that, we had, that you had worked on. They say you don't lose the hair that you have transplanted in. So okay, this Fuck. might be new. I I don't know. I I I don't know what's happening. Right. I do know that I got to get in a good pocket of space here in regards to living in the moment. I ain't living in the moment, man. I hate to make this like a therapy session, but I gotta, I gotta talk this out. Yeah, yeah. I got a hard time being present in the now. I'm constantly six, seven steps ahead. Right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I give you an example. Last uh, night, Nas- national championship game, Alabama against Georgia. I had a buddy of mine over. Lana went to uh, hang out with a, a bunch of moms in the neighborhood. I had the kids. There was a, our nanny was there, and uh, our nanny put the kids to sleep because I was watching the game. Now, while she's reading them a book, putting them to sleep, I'm asking myself, should I be in the room, All right. putting them to sleep and reading them a book? Because when they leave. For college, when they're 18, am I going to reflect on this night and go, I should have done more? Listen, you ever ever have these as a father? Right. Do you you ever have these, like, struggles of, am I here enough? Right. Am I doing enough? Why am I, you know, why am I in the middle of Michigan doing a show when I could be at home with my daughter doing da da da. There's so much to that, but yes, you, because you're making money, you're providing for the family. The fact that you're sitting there thinking about the fact that maybe I should be up there reading to my kids, that's enough. It's the championship <laughs> game, all right? And to put it in perspective, bro, Sadie was home with this fake Omicron all week. Holy shit. All week. And I'm with her, I'm playing with her. I'm not kidding, by Friday. She's saying something to me, dad, dad, dad. And I'm answering her nice, you know? And then I go up to Jackie quietly and I go, Jack, I go, this is so bad of me. This is like five minutes later. And she's like, what? And I go, before Sadie was saying dad, and literally I mumbled under my breath. You know, I was way, way from her. She couldn't hear me. I I go, I was like, shut the fuck up. (laughs) (laughs) And Jackie goes, that's your big feel bad thing? That's every day, guy. That's every day. <laughs> so, it's a balance. You're doing a nice balance, guy. Enjoy the game. You know? I know. I wish that's what I'm saying. I wish I could enjoy these moments and whatnot, but I'm constantly thinking about what if what, what am I doing? What the, 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 you know, yeah. yeah, you say pr- providing for my family. It's like they're, they're provided for. Right. I mean, it's you, like you provide a little more. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's like <laughs> what? But but what are you gonna do? Go home and stare at them? I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're gonna look at you and go get the fuck out of here. Go make money. I mean, it's a nice balance, man. You know what I'm saying? I know. It's I know. not I like gotta, I gotta. Even when I you gotta come get home, it. it's like you know. Yeah, they run up to you. My daughter too. Good to see you. But after the initial run up. They go, they go back to what they were doing within five minutes. You know, I'm looking at Jackie. Good to be home. She's like, yeah, I bet, I bet it is. You know, it's fucking, you're good guy. You're good guy. You know? All right. So I think that's why my hair is falling out. Number one, number two. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, uh, speak, speaking of football. Yeah. Was your hair wet? 
Yeah, it's uh, gelled back. I'm gonna get a haircut today. Yeah, you don't want to be doing when you you don't want to gel hair in a situation like that. You want to let them all have their own space to look bigger than they are. Yeah, you got them all bunched up. That's the problem. You you're, well, free, no, you're freaking ma- yourself out. Doesn't matter how I do it. I just slicked it back today because I was gonna go into get a haircut anyway. So uh, it don't matter. It don't matter. It, 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 it doesn't matter which way it is. I got I got up two nights ago. I got up yeah. and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and and you don't probably have this problem, but it's so funny, bro. <laughs> when, when I when I go to sleep, yeah, m- my bed head, I'm almost unrecognizable. If you saw me when I wake woke up in the morning, right? I'm a, I'm, <laughs> I'm a two, maybe maybe a two. It's I'm right there. Oh god, no, <laughs> no. Can you manage your hair after getting up without getting it wet in the shower? Or can you just take your bed head and make it something just by gel hairspray alone? Or do you got to like reset yeah. it with water? I, gotta, I usually have to reset it. Sometimes it's almost there. Like it's almost looks kind of cool, like Hollywood messy. And I just got to give it a little... Uh, but when I go to push my finger, uh, then it gets worse. And then it's like, yeah, then you got to do what you said. Ah, oh, this needs a full wet down. <laughs> <laughs> Regroup. Sh- shampoo the whole thing. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like you're right on a blackboard. You don't like what you have. And you're like wiping the whole thing. That, that's what the wet the hair. Now, what you got to do, bro. Did you ever see the movie? What a great movie. Memoirs of a Geisha. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, that's how you pronounce it. That's the problem. Geisha? Geisha. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think I might have seen it. I so think so. I they, don't know. Their hair gets, you know if you did, their hair gets done up so spectacularly that it can't be undone every day, right? So they lay on like on a pin cushion just behind the neck, and they learn <laughs> to lay like that. So oh, wow, and, that sounds and, so uh, uh, so Italian, <laughs> bro. That, that, that sounds like that's that sounds like like every Italian male goes to bed <laughs> on, on pins and needles. Like, bro, if you could sleep like you're in a coffin with a little pin cushion right behind you here. Yeah, you literally, that's what the geishas do so that, like, if they get the call to come entertain at any moment, the hair is high. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> the damage we do to our hair, tossing oh. and turning, rubbing it and shit on the pillow. Oh, the I one know. that is anything left in the morning, right? <laughs> I love how the guys who did your hair, too, say the ones that, they stay. Yeah, Why don't you watermark yours, and I'll get a microscope <laughs> and see if they got your serial number, which one? <laughs> right? That's so easy to say. <laughs> oh, oh God. So. What's the thing about so football? Get, yeah, so I get a text. Jesus, this was Sunday night. It's, uh, what, Tuesday, Sunday night, I get a text. I'm coming to L.A. And it's what? Nice. The Cardinals are playing L.A. Monday night. He's like, uh, in the playoffs, Monday night game, first Monday night playoff game. Oh, okay, you're talking gonna... about coming up, because I, I know he was no, no. C- could have played last week technically, but he didn't, right? Well, he's playing Monday. Fuck, yes, holy shit. So, it was, I'm trying to get a suite, you know, box. If you want to come? I said, yeah. Text me back. I couldn't get a suite. I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I don't give a shit. Yeah. But I got you two tickets sitting with my parents and my wife in the in the front row right behind his bench. Oh, right? my God. What a blast. So Monday night, we're going to the game. Now. This is oh, that's awesome. probably yeah. Dude, I'm gonna see my, you on TV. 
They're going to cut to Watt's wife, right? And the family. I'm sorry. We keep calling uh, Keely Watt's wife. I'm so sorry, man. So. I call my own wife my wife. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. So Lana and I are going to go Monday night to the game and check out the Watt and the Cardinals play the Rams. Now, I haven't been to a pro football game in a while, right? Right. Here's my question. Game starts at 515. Do you show up for the game at kickoff? Well, you got to, well, put it to you this way. It's like, it's like if I was sitting with your dad to watch your show, mm-hmm. do I got to be there for the opener? <laughs> right? It's like, the, yeah. it's the equivalent. So yeah. you say, do I got to be there for what? I think, uh, well, you got to just kick off. Just kick off. I mean, if you're walking down to the stairs with a beer and a hot dog as they're finishing uh, the coin toss and the team's coming out to kick off, you're good to go, man. That's beautiful. Your problem okay, I'm just is trying gonna to be the exit guy. That's going to be tricky. Well, here, here's the thing, and it depends on how this game's going to go. Me personally, and and I don't want to put this in Watt's head because he's he's working. He's trying to get to the Super Bowl, right? Now, now my question is, off the top of your head, and you you were with Watt in Buffalo, I think, when he played there, right? You went to go see him? Yeah. Now, he wins or loses. He's back on the team playing back to Arizona or – do you think the team has an option to say, hey, uh, parents are here, we're going to go out to dinner, I'll get my own way back? What do, you think's the, what do you think the rule is on that? That's a great question because it is the end of everything if you lose, gosh forbid, you know. Not, yeah, if, you lose, yeah. if, you, if you lose, the season's over, right? If you, if you win, if, you get back on with the team, you're, you're locked in. But if, but if you lose, you can do whatever you want. When I played Division Three basketball, we had a tournament right before Thanksgiving started. And after the game, it was in Binghamton, <clears throat> all the students, we were all going home for, for Thanksgiving break. So the coach was like, anyone whose parents are here watching this tournament, you can get in the car and go, go home with your parents. You don't have to take the bus back, you know. So if it's, we're doing a D3. Don't you think, like, if you lose, half the guys are like, I, I got to be in L.A. on Monday for a commercial. Okay, I'm just going to stay here, right? Or, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just wondering if it's a team mandate that you travel to the game and back from the game with the team, or is the airplane got two players on it? If they I, lose, if, if everybody's going, we're gonna go party in L.A. tonight. I don't know. That's a good question. It's like we're a team till the end. We're a team till we get back to Arizona and empty out our lockers. I'm like, yeah, that was this Ohio State with pros. It's done. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> you know, DiCaprio's got a bottle of the champagne on ice for me at the fucking Viper Room, gang. I'm out of here. <laughs> Viper Room. I don't even know if it's still open, is it? Oh, okay, yeah, it's still open. Oh, but what, 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 what is this, 1989? I Viper? saw a River Phoenix documentary, guy. It popped in yeah, my well, head. It passed away in 91, I think. <laughs> Wow, time flies, bro. Time flies. So the question is this. This is my thinking, and this isn't what you're thinking, but I'm thinking, okay, you know, that's a lot of traffic at the end of that puppy, right, to get out of there. It's hell hell, hell getting out of that particular stadium. It's it's awful. Right, right. But, I mean, I'm not going to leave. I mean, if, if, if it's a blowout, here's another thing. It's a blowout. Do you skip? Or do, do, you, do you wait till the end where he comes up and, and kisses his wife and then we're there? Well, that's a question, too. If you're sitting right next to the wife and, and they do the kiss, do you, do, you know, do you, you know, do you look at it and then they get you on the TV looking at them? Like, do you do, you, you know, what do you do? You do a step away. Uh, do you get your own high five? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Does he go in, give his mother and his wife a kiss? Gives his father a, a handshake, and do I go down and and offer my hand 
Or is that like, does he look at me going, guy, yeah, it's, it's I, my family. What I, are you, I, what are I, you I, doing? I feel everybody invited to those seats should get the handshake. Right? <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't come over with popcorn for half the people sitting in the box, right? So to get that handshake, bro, I'm sorry. That's like Gladiator and Russell Crowe doing a jump up <laughs> over the wall to high five you after killing the tiger. I mean, that's huge. The whole stadium seems like, who's he high fiving? Is that Sebastian? And then they're going to go, yeah, he's Sebastian's playing here next uh, Saturday night. <laughs> uh, yeah, he came to sculpt this is the stadium. <laughs> oh, God. So, oh, yeah, that'll very be nice a ball. Now, the thing, the rough one is if it's the blowout. Like, because when Watt came here, they lost to Buffalo, and Buffalo was an inferior team at the time. And it was cold, and, you know, Watt just wanted to get on that bus and get the hell back to the airport. But all class, he met me out on the field, you know. Now if they lose, oh, it's even more not pleasurable. (laughs) 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 It's like me and you after a show, and you got the hiccups halfway through, and you bombed, and it was a (laughs) HBO special or something. You know, good show! (laughs) That no, was, you did good. It had its good, good parts. <laughs> now, that's sports, though, man. I mean, it's a game. You win, yeah. you lose, and we're just joking around. That's going to be a blip. What are you wearing, bro? It's another thing. I got to figure out a an outfit for a pro football game. No. I don't, I don't do f- f- finalia. <laughs> 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 I don't think, and I could be wrong on this, but I don't think if my own kid was on a team that I would come to the game with the jersey or the hat that my kid belonged to, no? No, man. It's just way cooler to, like, have the guy next to you go, you know, Maniscalco is just killing it on the backside for us, man. Just He's dominating. He's dominating. And you can lean over and go, I'm his dad. (laughs) <laughs> dressed all in black <laughs> all in black you know yeah you know you know just you're gonna go, you know well, come on it's classy what um what i don't understand though is when they think that if you're not in the uniform you know it's like if if you're not in a jersey you know yeah. what do you what do you you know you, are you a fan i'm i'm like i'm here i'm here i'm rooting i don't you know why do we gotta i get the kids right. i get the kids but the grown people sometimes. Well, you wear a jersey, you get your ass kicked in some of these stadiums. If you, you know what I'm saying? They still do that, huh? Well, yeah. I mean, you see these fights all the time. Uh, whatever. Buccaneers fans fought the Colts fans. And, and, and nine times out of ten, the guys fighting have a jersey on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's not a guy in a suit. See, I'm not aware of that. I'm a Jet fan. I could wear a Jet jersey, a T-shirt, and people see me. They just give me a hug. <laughs> you see us last week we got 53 yards 53 yards the whole game the whole game and it was like one play was 24 i was pathetic bro we oh, are man. it's like it's a shame not in my lifetime not since i was born have we been to the super bowl and it's like it, 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 at some point it's like who's in charge of this shit i'm my tax money's going to this it's embarrassing get it together you don't even have like a two-year run that was magical. I mean, I don't remember the last time the Jets were even in the playoffs. Eleven years ago, and that was the that's the that's the longest running tenure right now. Our quarterback right now is about four and a half feet, and he weighs a little more less than Kate Moss when she used to model in a prime. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Oh god! Yeah. Son. Oh, it's a uh, and then, meanwhile, Watts' brother, bro. Did you see that? Nah, this guy's unbelievable, man. I don't know. Ty, the whole family. The sack, all-time sack. How do you get a half a sack? That's you know, he's got twenty-two and a half. Yeah, I think he was debating on whether or not that first sack was. There's something about that first sack. It was a half or a full or whatever. Oh, really? I mean, I, I, yeah, something, I, something was going on. I don't know exactly the ins and outs, but the entire family. I mean, what are the odds 
having three brothers in the NFL or three three kids in the NFL. Yeah. I mean, that's that's unheard of, and and they're all still there. It's not like one of them got cut after two years. Some they're boys. playing. I think I think like it, once you have one kid that's so great, like what. And then you're in the backyard. The other two go, okay, that's how great I got to be to play with him in the backyard. And it just kind of like manifests itself. It's like when an yeah. actor has a son or a daughter and then she's a great actress. And you're like, because that's what she's been around. I mean, Sadie plays the piano and I'm like, good job. Meanwhile, Elton John's 12-year-old adopted boy is probably doing fucking Beethoven right now. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But there's not any real father son, father daughter, mother daughter comedians that I know of. Do you know of like any comedian that had a father that was a really good comedian? I can't think of any any. I mean, Paulie Shore's dad, Sammy Shore. Oh, but I'm, we're not. I, I'm sure there is, and I can't. But I know, like you know, like I know some of the guys that are like the way Damon Wayans. I think his son is really good now. A young, younger son, like younger kids coming up. I know that, but I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, I, I wanna. I don't know. I, I, I gotta. I gotta say, it while this is fresh in my head, this, this half sack thing. <laughs> I feel like I feel like if I was on the defense, like I could see this happening, like going home to my wife Sunday night and being like, I keep getting a fucking sack, and then Tony comes over and he comes in and and, and like I don't need him and he's getting a half sack, so I'm getting half sacks because Tony's fucking <laughs> whoring off my sacks. You know what I'm saying? Like I almost want to be like if I'm sacking the quarterback and you're coming over, I'd be like, okay, I got it, I got it. <laughs> I get yeah. seven of these. I get a bonus. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I just got oh, one half sack TJ got where if his teammate didn't come jumping in for the final <laughs> throwdown, he'd have the all-time record instead of tie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to review that shit. Bro, we should be doing uh, yeah. ESPN. This is a... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man! Oh, oh. man! So you're yeah, wear, you're gonna wear sneakers, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear a casual vibe, some jeans, sneakers, and a maybe a, a sweater or like a t-shirt and a jacket. Yeah, so it's, it's gonna be something casual. But I'm looking forward to uh, to that. Absolutely. Um, what the hell else did I got for you? Here, here's one. Yeah. So I don't know if I covered this with you last week. I do know that I remember telling you that I went to Caruso's practice for soccer, right? No, man. And Did you tell me that? I don't think I remember with, you telling me that. I tell you what the I told you with the Greyhound. No, I don't think so. What do you, I, I think I'd remember if Caruso went to a soccer practice already. So I went. Wait a minute. Was this Tuesday? Tuesday. Oh, it must have been the day we did the kick. All right, here it is. Uh, I go to soccer practice, and it's at the Grove. You know where the Grove is? Yeah, there's yeah. Like a, yep, there's a, of course. There's, there's a park over there. Oh, okay. And uh, <sighs> the park's got, like, a playground, and then they got a basketball court, <laughs> and then they got, like, heroin you know it's like one of these parks where you know it's just a hodgepodge of shit happening yeah there's like people doing yoga there's about 138 dogs running around yeah. and oh, uh, good except the heroin thing well i mean like the basketball it, it, it's just you know there, there, there's kids in the playground and right next to the playground there's like there's they're they're swearing up a storm on the basketball court, you know. It just, oh yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, it's just like there's it a lot of different uh, entities coming together in one area, right? Okay, a lot of now, stuff this is you a, can't control. That's right. That's right. <laughs> now I'm not, and I know this is unpopular, but I, I'm not a big dog guy. Right? Yeah. I'm sorry. <clears throat> when I get around a lot of dogs with no leash. And I think partially this is due to the fact that when I was nine years old and I was playing football at my buddy Brian's house, his German shepherd came from behind me while I was tackling him and he bit my leg because he thought I was attacking his 
his, his owner. Right. Right. Yeah. So I gotta. I'm on the defense around these dogs. Did right? he draw blood? That German Shepherd. Yeah. Oh, rabies it a, shot. It it's a pretty good bite. I forget whether or not we went to the hospital or not, That's, but I remember. Th- I know a few what? people. My brother, my brother's wife. They get they get bit by dogs and they're traumatized and they don't they don't ever That's come it. around to liking dogs ever again. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen. I go down to pit, get the dog, pet him, and and what? He's gonna take my leg off. <laughs> so, so, uh, now I come to the practice. It's it's not a practice. It's they're two and a half yeah. years old, so they're just kicking it around like a little small goals. They do these little drills. It's cute, yeah. right? Yeah. So, I go there. I got, I gotta, I gotta find out whether or not. Or I got to clock into bringing the right equipment to these things. Like, I showed up with my son, and that's it. I had no water bottle for him, no, like, I didn't have a bag with me. The other parents, yeah, yeah, they got blankets to putting out, like, on the grass. They got chairs, you know, these fold, the, 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 yeah. the, the, the you know. Yeah. Hey, the, the practice is 45 minutes. What are you going to do? <laughs> Lay down? Well, you, you, so I'm I'm standing there watching Caruso play. And a dog came and I couldn't even it was so fast I couldn't even make out the the breed. That's how fast this thing was moving. I thought it was a cheetah. Yeah. It's a greyhound. Wow. Now. Fast you know dog. the greyhound Greyhound's the fastest dog on the planet. Guess how fast a guess how fast a, a greyhound travels. I want to say for 30 miles an hour. 45 miles an hour this thing. Wow, yeah. man. Right? It could merge on the highway this thing, right? It, it could get a ticket running through Main Street where I live. <laughs> <laughs> it could merge on the highway. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, this ain't, in my opinion, in my opinion, this ain't a dog you own, right? Well, it's fast, but it's not vicious, right? This thing's used, it's a sight hound, okay? What a sight hound is, as soon as it locks in on something, right. it goes, and it don't stop. Until it gets whatever the hell he's looking for, right? Right. If he sees a ra- if he sees a rabbit, he's gone. Yeah. It's not like you go, Speedy, come back here. <laughs> oh, it's off, right? And oh. it's like it's going forty five miles an hour. So it's not like you're gonna chase your own dog down. Oh, okay. So this thing is like a danger in that you got a speeding a little mini speeding bullet coming down the the path. Yeah, this thing's a, it's a racing dog. It's like having a yeah. They know they like do having fake a, rabbits and they do this. Yeah, yeah, it's like having a it's having like a thoroughbred as a pet. <laughs> but right? but you're telling me you can't give a whistle and like this dog is the kind of dog that come you catch up to later. It's like I'm damn, I'm fucking sorry. I saw something. I just I couldn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Like like you know, this dog yeah didn't look like it it gave a shit about his owner. I mean, it almost took my kid's head off the way this thing this thing was going so fast, right? Yeah. No. Wow. I'm looking around the park, and I'm trying to pin the owner to the dog. You ever do this where you see a dog, and it's yeah. off a leash? And, it, and I started looking around going, who owns this thing? Right. Now, as soon as I saw the woman, as soon as I saw the woman, I go, that's the owner. You could just tell yeah. that, you know, yeah. lost, just, 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 you know, hey, where are you? You know, like, get, get this thing tied to a tree. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Got a two and a half year old kid playing soccer and the wind, the, the wind from the dog knocked him down. Right. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Dude, imagine that was a pit bull. Forget it, man. Well, here is what I'm, this is what I'm saying. What the hell is this thing doing? In an apartment. I mean, what's it, it, this thing's used to racing 45 miles an hour. What is it banging? What is it <laughs> flying into the fucking drywall? That's why That's why as soon as she takes it outside, it's like, listen, I got to head over to uh, Oregon. I'll be back in four hours. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, you see, uh, you see someone in a little house come out with a German Shepherd, and I'm like, that thing's gonna eat you because it's so frustrated, right? You know, I got a 15 pound dog. This house is like a fucking main to my kid. My <laughs> so, aside from that, I came home and I ordered myself a folding chair. Right? Right. Yeah. Because when I first saw it, I don't know if you've ever done this, where you first see something, you go, look, hey, what the fuck are they doing? The blanket and the chair and this, that, and the other thing. Oh, yeah. after, ten, after 10 minutes of standing, I was dying for a chair. I've done that. <laughs> I first go to my daughter's soccer games. I'm like you. I'm like, I'm not sitting because I'm the, I'm the active dad anyway, and I'm over in the corner clapping for my kid and this. After 10 minutes, you realize these kids suck and I'm exhausted, right? <laughs> I, you know, I just need to sit down. It's not, maybe when they get to be like 10, I might not need a chair because I'm, it's, you know, they're passing yeah. and, you know, but right now, yeah, yeah. yeah, and you see, you know, you see those people with chair. You ever do the, uh, the, 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 the just, you don't want to get your knees dirty, so you just kind of squat down for a little while like a catcher uh, in a base, baseball catcher. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did that. I did that two years ago, and I couldn't get back up. <laughs> That's what, I, I've done that movement. I'm down there, and I'm like, "This is gonna be a nightmare coming back up." <laughs> you know? I can't, How about this? Can, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can you, you say Indian style? I apologize if that's not woke right now, and you're supposed to say something different. But can you sit like that? I could sit Indian style, but you know what I can't do? What? Have you ever tried going on your knees and putting your ass on the floor, like just, you oh. know? Just yeah, like moms would do in a knee. circle with the little babies playing in between, right? Is that what you mean? Yeah, like, like yeah, like, 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 like bend your knees all the way, like your ass is touching your heels of your shoes. Yeah. Have you ever have you ever tried that? Yeah, I can last like thirty seconds. Then I'm like oh, everything's I can't, I getting can't even, numb. I, I can't. Yeah, I can't even get in that position. I, 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 I can't. You can do it cross legged Indian style. I can't do yeah, that. that. That's insane. Oh yeah, I could do that. I could do it right now. Look. Uh, I can, uh, do, well, one. Uh, I can uh, do one. Yeah, no, I, I could. I could do it right now. That's, That's not a like, problem for me. All right, all right. Do you but, do yoga? But, uh, uh, no, but. I mean, listen, I'm not as flexible as I was, obviously, 10, 12, 15 years ago. Particularly, my knees are screwed up. Do you ever one knee it? Do you ever do the one knee uh, and then the other knee up and, and you're, you know, like, you got one knee on the ground yeah. and the other, leg, the other leg is bent? You ever pull that move? This is, this is, that. not only is that my move, when I'm at Sadie's soccer games or something and I don't have a chair... I pull out my hanky and put the knee on the hanky. Oh, and, man, what a move. And then I switch it over so I don't get up with that wet knee, white trash, <laughs> wet knee fucking look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that move, man. Oh, That's a the, nice I'm telling move. you, I've told you before, the hanky has so many functions beyond, like, just <laughs> blowing your nose. It's unbelievable, man. <laughs> Seriously. So how's the kid looking? Does he's looking like he's got a feel for soccer? Does he like it? Now, listen, yeah. I know it's my kid, but uh, there's, what, six kids out there? The best one. Nice, nice. Well, he's already got the Italian look as far as, you know, he looks like he oh. can play. He, he's got a soccer look, and if this kid grows up to be a soccer player, and I know I'm his father, I know I'm I'm biased and partial, but look at him out, look at him, out, look at him move around out there. It's the next Cristiano Ronaldo, bro. <laughs> It's oh, can you imagine? Can you imagine <laughs> if your son put soccer on the map in America? <laughs> you know, that would be unbelievable. Oh man, oh man, 
That would be nice. Yeah. It's a great sport, like, as far as um, I love watching the highlights on ESPN. Soccer highlights, they're fantastic. The, the, the corner kicks, the heading, you know. It's just the overall game is slow, bro. That's why I feel nah, like it's you know, you got to know the game. I love the, the passing and the moving, and, and you got to kind of really appreciate uh, the beauty behind it all. I could understand someone – coming from a, a, a non-soccer background, right. how they might think it's slow, but I got to tell you, when they score, and then they do this other move sometimes I've seen where they, they score and then they run off and they slide on their knees. You ever see yeah, that move? Yeah, yeah. If, if I slid on my knees, I'd fall forward on my face. <laughs> And they go far too, man. Yeah. Sometimes while they're sliding, they do a shirt pull off. It's almost <laughs> like you're getting a free show along with the game, you know? Oh, <clears throat> no, you know what uh, drives me nuts in soccer is like I'm watching it and like we're, we're almost on the attack. And then, like, the wing guy will pass it back to the halfback. And I'm like, all right, we'll regroup. And then the halfback goes back to the fullback. I'm like, oh, all the way, all the way back to the goalie. We're going all the way back to the fucking goal. <laughs> We're right there. We got to do a regroup. And the goalie's it's like, looking to, yeah. It's like, it's like uh, shampooing your hair right, right, out of bed. It's a reset, bro. I know. You ever see sometimes... When it comes to the goalie, once in a while, he'll just kick it as far as he can. Um, oh, yeah. And I feel like he knows he's he's losing the crowd, you know? He's like, I'm, I'm just going to fucking blast this one. Like, yeah! but I would just blast it every time, bro. If every I, time. And we'll try to head it in and shit. Every time. I don't know, man. Yeah, we'll see. That would be great. That's a great game as far yeah, as so. uh, yeah. So cool. he's got practice. He's got practice today. I'm taking him. It's it's our little thing. It's like a little father and son. We found our little father and son bonding. Nice. So uh, we got that today at four thirty. Um, what else do I got on the slate? <sighs> so I'm in Vegas, right? We did Vegas this weekend. Go to the airport. I get on the plane. Pilot comes back and says, uh, gas ain't getting to one of the engines. We're going to try it again and see what happens. Now, as soon as you tell me gas is not getting to the engine, I'm out. I don't care if this thing starts on the second time. Hey. Right. If, if if it's a, if it's having problems to begin with, I don't need I don't need this thing to be in the air and the gas stop going to the engine. So he, I'm right he there goes, with you. I hear you, bro. So I tell him, I go, I, I don't know if that he goes, once the plane is on, we're good. Once that once the plane is on and the gas is getting to the engine, we're good. It's not gonna s- stop. Well, why but mid-flight. why would it why would it have why would it not be just starting right now? You know, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't, I didn't get into the to the to the back and forth of it. Uh, so he tries it again. He says it don't work. It's not working. It's going to take an hour for the maintenance guy to get here, and we don't know how long it's going to take to fix it. This is ten o'clock in the morning. I got a show in nine hours. Right. This is. Right. I'm in L.A. I'm going to Vegas. I pull the rip cord on this thing and I drive. I drive the four hours because I don't want to monkey around with the. Then, then they're like, oh, we got a secondary plane that could come in. Hey, uh, hey. Huh. I, I'm driving. Yeah. Okay? All right. Yeah. S- so, my question is if there's a technical problem with an airliner and they come and fix it, you know, you've had this where you're at the gate, and they're like, "Oh, we're having a problem with the uh, the mainframe right now. Uh, we're gonna have maintenance come out, and take a look at it, and we'll be gone up shortly." Right? Are you going to yourself? I got to get off the plane, or you're like, "Yeah, yeah they're gonna fix it, and then we'll be on our way." Well, the, you know what it is. You always wonder. It's like, let's say hypothetically, if you well, you're going, you're flying to Vegas, right? And they're gonna come on to fix it, and you go. And they go, we fixed it. And you want to go, did you fix it 
just to get to Vegas and then really fix it? <laughs> <laughs> or like, is it so fixed that you're going to stop thinking about this thing moving forward? Like, is it, is it back at the shop fixed or just triple <laughs> a fixed, get to a fucking gas station as soon as you can fixed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to figure yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Is this, this is like they put, a, they put a spare tire on your car and they tell you, listen, don't go over 65 <laughs> or this thing's going to fly yeah. off. That's and if you see a Sunoco, for God's sake, pull over. <laughs> Get yourself a tire, right? <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you know, the whole, if once the gas is flowing in it, it'll keep flowing. But apply that to your lawnmower, right? It's not working. Your neighbor comes over. Once you get gas in, it'll start going. If you started mowing your lawn halfway through, it conked out. You wouldn't be shocked. You'd go, ah, oh, the, the thing happened again. Why it's not getting get right? So why ain't that yeah, gonna yeah. happen up there? Forget <laughs> it. I'm out, man. You guys get it going good. You meet me there. You take me back. Well, right? He goes. He goes. You know, we, we could fly on one engine, but we can't take off on one engine. Right. Right. I, I didn't ask him the third question. Can you land on one engine? Well, the fourth question is, are we in Vietnam right now? Why does any of this fucking matter? We're not evacuating from Saigon right now, guy. You know what I mean? You're telling me. What are, you, what are you telling me? If we can get a tow into the air, we'll, we can, we'll, we'll be okay? I guess. You know what, though? Maybe he listens to the cast. And he's like, this guy wants to know what's going on. He says it. He's telling his wife, I listened to the cast, and he's saying he wants to know what's going on. So now he's up there going, once we get the grass going, we'll be good. And, and you're sitting here going, that's it. Get me a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. So Vegas was, just to give the listeners an idea of what's going on outside their own states or whatnot. Yeah. So Vegas had this big uh, convention called CES. It's an electronic convention. One of the biggest conventions uh, they have there. And uh, the hotel um, three weeks ago was at 100%. And when I came in, it was at 40% because people are canceling. People don't want to travel. People are sick. The shows were... About eighty-five percent full, which is still pretty good for uh, for the situation that we're in. But I mean, I feel like we're going backwards, bro. The restaurants, uh, nobody's going. Uh, nobody's going to hotels and this and that. Even though this thing is supposedly just a uh, mild cold. I know people right. that are unvaccinated that got the that got this thing and. You know, what's going on? Uh, nothing. Little stuff he knows that I'm tired. It's ridiculous. So, <laughs> don't even get me going. <laughs> I, I, to fight. I can't even tell you with Sadie. I got tested. I mean, I was hugging my daughter. She's got the virus. I'm hugging her. Da, da. I was forehead to forehead with my dad in the hospital before there even was a vaccine. I'm telling you, guy, I could walk naked through Wuhan. <laughs> so, no, no. So, knocking wood it's a joke even if i die from this shit don't play this people and go see see <laughs> fuck yourself play this part too if you're gonna play that part <laughs> all right oh, oh god Spe speaking of dying uh rest in peace bob saget i mean uh have you ever met him I did. He used to come on when I did the show with Brewer. He'd come on a few times. Um, him and Jim had a real special relationship. They had the same sense of humor, and they would really have a ball together. He's a nice, nice, nice man. Yeah, nice guy. Nice guy. It's just a shame, man. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so uh, Vegas was good. Had a good time there. <clears throat> um, well, before you go any further, speaking of dying, I saw a video <laughs> the other day. All right. <laughs> Uh, let me preface it by saying, so Jackie's training again now just because she's always wanted to do this thing in town in February where she's going to run 31 miles uh, ultra marathon outside in like 10 degree weather. I don't even get it. Right? Then I'm looking at this video with Lana and she's uh, doing some exercise. I get, I get my new exercises from watching your guys' uh, Instagram exercises. She's doing these curls in a way I, I never saw. And then I'm looking and I'm thinking, 
I think it was 20s. And I'm like, is she curling the same amount I curl? Like, right. <laughs> right. And she's, you know, in fantastic shape. And Jackie, fantastic shape. And I'm wondering, do you, because I'm starting to wonder about the, the who the man is going to be that my wife is going to spend the last 15 to 20 years of her life with, you know? And I wonder what they're going to do and where they're going to live and if I'll ever come up because... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, <laughs> yeah, and I'm sorry, bro. You say what you want, but you know, there's gonna be. I'm sad to say, but this is probably gonna be another gay <laughs> dining on your dollar someday. <laughs> now, do we have a right to make all wives say to these future men after every meal um, or before it? Just want to say thank you to my husband for you know providing <laughs> us this ability to be here and eat it. Right? I mean. <laughs> Are you are you saying that we're going to die off before them or are you saying they're going to divorce us? No, we're going to die off. They're going to stay with us till we're gone, but man, the only way my wife is going to die at the same time as me is like right before my heart attack kicks in, I stab her. <laughs> 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 Otherwise, I'm definitely dying first. Oh shit. Oh man. <laughs> So, yeah, so oh, to the wives, man. man, flawless shape. They're really crushing it, man. Nah, man, it's unbelievable. Are you still it's, doing your thing? You were, you know. Still doing my thing. Still doing my thing. I fell off a little bit because of the holidays. Not much, not bad, though. It wasn't right. bad. I mean, normally, normally I go nuts, but uh, I fell off a little bit and then hop right back on the wagon and uh, we're going full, full bore. I'm going to a doctor tomorrow. <sighs> This, this is going to be a story after I see this guy. This guy do, does this, uh, it's called Regenekine. It's basically, it takes uh, simple layman's terms, takes your own blood out, spins it, and puts it back in the, the area that's a problem. It's basically like having your own uh, anti-inflammatory from your body going back into your body. It... Uh, I've heard from a couple of people now that this is kind of something that's helped them out. It doesn't cure the problem. Right. It just reduces the inflammation. And while your inflammation is reduced, you then strengthen that area that's causing the issue. Wow. So if it's your back, you strengthen your back, your legs, what have you. So I'm not going to get it tomorrow. I'm just going to go to the doctor and kind of pick his brain on what the hell this thing is, but I got to get this fixed, man. I'm uh, my, my legs are like shot. I'm looking like Forrest Gump over here. Yeah, but like, doesn't that like don't don't you get tired of all the conversations about the stuff? Like like if you go tomorrow and you like what he's saying, don't you wish right there you can go give me the gown? Let's do it. Like we got to <laughs> set up another appointment and shit, right? I don't know. I don't know if this is something where you go in, if you like it, they'll go, okay, let me draw some blood and whip it up and see what happens. Uh, or you have to go back and then make another appointment. Regardless, I want to check this thing out, ask him some questions and, and see if this is, yeah. And he's going to review my MRI and what have you to see what the, the actual problem is. It was stated that stenosis is the issue, which is a narrowing of the spine, but I want to see a little bit more uh, uh, what what we could do to like alleviate some of this pain because I don't know, man. That's just like this is going on for six months now, bro. No, hey, and, listen, man. It's gotta it's gotta end. I mean, I'm in. I can't even like pick up my kids, you know, <laughs> with, with the with the and walk around. I could put, I could put them back down, but then my pains my pain throughout my leg. And and I appreciate everybody. That listens to the cast that's messaging me, hey, I had surgery, or I did this exercise, I did that exercise. You know, I, I appreciate all the the suggestions and help, but I gotta specifically look at what's going on with my body and fix this because uh, yeah, I gonna, if <laughs> I gonna do the squat exercises Carol from Wisconsin suggests. <laughs> <laughs> These helped her. Me and Bob used to camp all the time, and then my hip was just too much. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Picture if Sting had a knee problem. That's where Sebastian's <laughs> going, people, all right? <laughs> oh, God. 
So, uh, bro, my bro, I hope I, I, I listen. I'm rooting for this to fix because my brother just um, he's getting a hip thing too now. He went and got an X ray, and he goes, uh, he goes, get the doctor comes out with the X ray, and he goes, oh yeah, you got no cartilage, guy. Look at this right here, and it's almost more. It's better to hear that instead of. Hmm. So where does it hurt? And it's, it's, <laughs> you know, instead of this is like, dude, I, I how did you even come in here without a cane? Holy shit! You know. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't like the questions. I like definitive. They put the X-ray. You got a broken bone in your tibia. Yeah. I don't. I don't like uh, where. Do me a favor. Walk again. <laughs> from, uh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Now I can't stand that. And then the thing, it doesn't even hurt in the way it normally is. I'm like, oh, bro, why aren't you doing the cortisone shot? Get over it. You got to do what you got to do, man. It'll give you another 10 years like a, <laughs> like a gazelle. <laughs> I've tried the steroid shot. It just doesn't. It doesn't work. I mean, it's quarter is cortisone and uh, stronger than steroids. I, I'm not sure. I thought when you say cortisone, everyone knows what I mean. Is, I thought it was the same thing. So it's probably what you're doing. I, I don't know, man. What about, and again, I know you know, but like I would think because my knee sometimes hurts. If you can get the best, first of all, you get the best doctor to look at it. And right next to him is the best trainer. And the doctor and the trainer go, these are the knee exercise. We're going to rebuild the knee. Is that like something that... This, this, this ain't the knee. It's oh. probably the lower back. Oh, fuck. But the, the problem you. is, not not the problem. The issue becomes, I don't, I want to be looking at surgery as a last resort to this. Last, so if you go to an ortho, yeah. go an orthopedic, you know, they're going to suggest surgery, whether it's mild pain, severe pain, what have you. I mean, I'm not saying all of them, but, you know, most of them are in the business of, of cutting you open. So... I want to kind of exhaust all routes before I even start looking down that one. Um, oh, that makes sense, man. That's why you're doing trying to find it. Anything I hear, trying, that. yeah, I hear that. Yeah, I got, I'm gonna try to exhaust all options here, but because uh, I don't know the way Caruso's looking, I'm gonna need to be kicking the ball around with this kid uh, in the, in the future. And the way my legs are feeling, I ain't yeah. kicking shit. Right? Either, either that, you're gonna be able to tackle some greyhounds before they get to him. <laughs> <laughs> One way or another, he's going to need Dad to be mobile. <laughs> oh God! Uh, now, do you? It, it is one that happened to me the other night. Do you have an alarm in your house? I do. Do you leave a light on downstairs when you go to bed to indicate to other people outside your house that someone's home? Oh, that's a good. No, we leave we leave the light above the stove on. Well, if you got a, a burglar in the area, right? Yeah. And he looks through your window and he sees the stove light on. Do you think he goes they're home? They're home. Yeah. Or do you think do you think he goes seven houses got their oven light on? Like like right. what 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 is the that's, how does he how does he determine or is there a light on in the house that is known to burglars that if they leave the living room light on past midnight they're right. on vacation right right it's you know you're bringing up a fascinating subject here because <clears throat> what when a burglar approaches the house gives him an indication you know TV on, right? A car means nothing because people have two cars. Now, when me and Sadie walk the dog and it shits and we put it in a bag, uh, our deal is I she picks it up, but I'll carry it until we find a house where they have a garbage can on the side of the house. And then I make her sneak up to the house and throw it in their outdoor garbage can. And I'm always trying to find houses where no one's home. And it's hard because a lot of people leave that. I'm looking, I'm like, are they home? Oh, look at them. They leave their kitchen light on all day. <laughs> uh, you know, you start to figure it out. I get your game. You ain't home. You ain't. You know? <laughs> when the curtains are open, they're not home. Because as soon as they get home, they close the curtains. They don't want you to see in. Um, so you start, you start looking for a place to throw your dog shit. You start thinking like a burglar. Scout. Yeah, you yeah, you scout. You yeah, scout. And I've yeah. and I've seen those houses. Let's say I'm driving down a street, right? You see a house that's like dark. But then all of a sudden, 
Like here, like, we were sitting outside my sister's house one night. House kind of two doors down across the street it was kind of dark. But then someone came out to throw the garbage. And you ever ask yourself, where are they in the house? Uh, that the house is completely like did did they just throw the garbage out in a completely dark house? Like where are they? Right. Right. And and are they down in the basement and just pop up? That's also the question. When you're home, I mean, who has just the light on in the room they're in? <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? I fire it up. You know what I'm saying? I put it's lights on in rooms I'm not in. Jackie's like, why are you putting on there? So when I go in, I can see. It's all the fucking party, you know? <laughs> you know? So, yeah, I've always found out my neighbors do that sometimes. I'm like, what do you got, your basement light? What are you doing down there? What the fuck are you doing down there? Everyone else is sleeping. You're down there with that on? I know, man. So. Oh, man. Like, growing up, my father, when we went on vacation, I don't know if I told you this story on the cast. But I'll repeat it. He had a system where <laughs> this is Sicilian. This is a beautiful, beautiful mind at work. He had the front room. He had the, the light on, right? On a timer. And that timer went off at like 10. Nice. Then about a minute later, upstairs, the bathroom light went on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a burglar, you're like, is that a timer? And you're like, oh, no, no, no. He's like, he's up in his, he's up in his bed. <laughs> and, then, and then that went, and then that went off. And then, like, 10 seconds later, the bedroom light went on. So if someone was scouting the house, yeah. they would look and go, oh, this guy's all over the floor. That is brilliant, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't set the kitchen for, like, 3 a.m. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's getting warm milk. He's getting warm milk. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god I've that never seen cool. that I've never seen that technique used In any other home before oh, I mean, Normally no. people got the timers Maybe one in the kitchen But never Never in like a path Of movement that a person Might be taking No it's brilliant man That's br yeah, that's, yeah that's I never heard of that <laughs> <sighs> um, oh, What else you got Listen, before you go, I got to tell you, so so Sadie tested negative, right? Yeah. So I got a couple things to tell you here. So to, to get, I had to get, to get her to go to school on Monday, they said, I get, the school said I got to get a test within two hours, uh, two, two days. And the only place the time was doing it was about 40 minutes away. So we got to drive into a snowstorm and we got to drive her and I to this place and it was one of these snowstorms where it was only bad for like 15, 20 minutes. And then when it was okay, we got out the other end. But we're coming back. We did the test. We're coming back. And it gets so bad. I'm in the room that, I, I don't know, you ever do this move where you got to put your hazards on? You just have to. You remember days in Wisconsin. Right. Car in front of me. Doing, we're all doing like 10. I got a semi behind me. One lane traffic. You can't even pull off if you want. My wiper fluid was frozen, so I'm doing the window down, wiping with the glove, driving at the oh. same time. Oh, my God, right? Car in front of me stops. And, bro, this goes to a bigger thing I'm about to say about the, 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 the young average male coming up today in, into society, right? And not anyone who listens to the cast. You guys already figured it out. You're cool. <laughs> Car in front of me stops completely stops and you're like holy shit and i'm luckily i can stop and you cringe you hope everyone else can stop and they do kid gets out he's got to be in his mid-20s right and he looks back at my car and all the cars behind me and he goes like this he just puts his hands out and goes like what are you gonna do like it's so bad he can't go what are you gonna do i'm going home i don't know what the fuck you're doing and i do <laughs> i do five miles an hour around them into head on traffic, you know, not no, and then everyone we all start going around them. And Sadie's like, What's he doing, Dad? I'm like, He can't, he can't get through. And she's like, Why not? And I'm like, Because he's not a man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else. What? And this is a reflection of today's youth. 
They, they don't ever risk nothing. Their lives, they, they don't want to be offended. Just fucking get some balls. <laughs> Has to be said. And it goes with the oh, virus. Yeah. Let's come out of your rocks, man. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Keep it moving, man. Just yeah. keep it moving. I mean, I've been in those snowstorms. And yeah, it could get a little hairy. But you, yeah. you don't. Pull over. I know. What, what are you, a bear? What are you going to hibernate right now? You're going to drive <laughs> away in May? Get the fuck out of here, guy. <laughs> Nobody's coming. Daddy's not coming, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, God. So, anyway, I got to yeah. finish this, right? Because she gets yeah. the test, and then. Then we get mixed signals on, on, and I know all these schools are dealing with stuff, so I'm not trying to say bad stuff, but they go, they come to the conclusion, now that she's negative, never had any symptoms, she can come in on Monday, but she has to stay six feet away from all the other students instead of just the three, all right? And then at mm. lunchtime, she has to eat somewhere alone, you know? And, then, and now she's like... Upset. She's like, I got to eat alone, Dad. I mean, I, I'm like, I, I'm bringing you to school. I, I, I thought that I was going to be escorted out because I know what a superintendent's <laughs> office is. I literally thought that's how this is play out. I'm going to get escorted out, and I'm calling Tucker Carlson at 630. <laughs> 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 I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Relax, everybody. It was a joke. But anyway, we get there, and the principal's there, and he's really cool about it. And he's like, yeah, just yeah, keep six feet. And, uh, but it's like, uh, she doesn't have it now. Is she back or is she not back? So she has to go sit in a separate room with these two kids her age that just got back too. And they all eat together, those three. They don't eat in the cafeteria with everyone else. Because even though they're negative now, they may, I don't know, maybe they're a little effect, uh, infected. You know, you still got, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like ridiculous. But the one of the boys she's sitting with, uh, you know, from a class and stuff, she's telling me when she comes home that he said he's got a crush on her. Because she, I go, yeah, you got to sit alone, um, not with the rest of the kids. I go, but look at it as a little adventure. It's three days. It could be fun, you know? And she comes home the first day, and she's like, it was kind of fun. It was just the three of us, and you know? And then she goes, and he said he had a crush on me. I was like, oh, you know? And she was happy. It was just fun, right? So then we get an email later that day that says they don't have to do that anymore. All the kids are fine. You're just back in with your class. And I go, hey, you got the email. The next two days, you don't have to do any of that. You're fine. And she's like, oh, great. You know, and you know what my first thought was, bro? I felt bad for the boy because I've been there third grade. He's like, I got two more lunch dates <laughs> with this girl I like. He, he was probably picking out his outfit. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And. And it made me think just as much as all the schoolwork, that kind of shit is important too, right? For a kid. Oh, Remember when yeah. you're like, oh, I got Jim. I got to get her on my team. And I'll, yeah. if I can get her on second base and kickball and I kick her home and I get to oh. high five her. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> I felt bad for the kid. He's like, oh, there go my two. Like, school was like, whatever. I just had these lunch dates with this little uh, girl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because he had he had one on one time. No yes. other guy, no other guy's gonna interrupt him while he's sipping on his milk, oh. trying to trying to build rapport. To really, really <laughs> do a deep dive into you know what's your favorite color, what kind oh, of yeah. gum do you chew, you know, important shit, right? I hear you. Well, now do you think after he professes his love to her in this private? you know lunch hour right. do you think he picks back up the next day with kind of what he was talking about in the private in the private lunch or do you think now his rhythm is all screwed up and he didn't have time to solidify the deal yeah no i th i you're right i think i think he he thought he had 3 days so he was like day 1 Lay it out there. Day two, discuss it. Day three, boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So did you ask Sadie when she ba went back the, the, the next day, did this guy have any contact with her? Well, she's in school right now. So, yeah, oh, okay. it's happening right now. But, yeah, because what's also funny, I say boyfriend, girlfriend, they're in third grade. This is funny. Yeah, yeah. It's funny to me how we're analyzing it. But 
one thing I think he really wanted to do a little cleanup because apparently after he told her she's he's got a crush on her, uh, he said uh, a few minutes later, and two other girls. I'm like, yeah, hey, you don't tell a woman you love her and, hey. and then say, and Debbie and Tracy too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, he got, he got nervous. He's like, I gotta throw a few more girls in there. This is getting awkward. <laughs> He's playing a numbers game, man. He's... <laughs> I'm starting to think the kid didn't even have the on the cron. <laughs> 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 you know he's gonna have it again next week, but one of the other two girls he likes. <laughs> oh oh man! So no, you gotta say you gotta ask her when she comes home tonight. Yeah. What the hell happened at school today? Because I think everybody's interested on the next cast. Where this thing's gonna go? <laughs> yeah, like like because now she has a certain group she has to eat lunch with always. You know, and I don't think he's in her group. Well, I'm wondering, does he just like? You know, if I knew then what I know now, what would be perfect is to just look over at her while you have your tray and just give her a wink <laughs> to remind her what was said yesterday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. So That's good, good stuff, hang, man. brother. Good hang, man. Always fun here at the Pete and Sebastian yeah. show. Thanks for listening, and uh, we will be back with that cliffhanger next week <laughs> at Sadie's first boyfriend. Uh, all right, later, Take care, man. Bro. You too.